Hi, in this video I'll show you how to create ICO files using GIMP 2.8. One of my subscribers asked me if I have a video about that. I don't so I decided to make one. Now ICO file type is the file type for Windows icons. So if you want to learn how to create icons for Windows, this tutorial will be useful for you. Now the first thing you need to have of course is an image and this can be a digital photograph, it can be some graphic created in GIMP or in my case here a graphic that I created in Inkscape. Next we need to make sure that the image is a square, we can just use the crop tool but in some cases you may need to adjust the canvas size so I'm going to show you both. I'm going to go to image, canvas size and I'll take the bigger number here, just control C to copy it. Control V to paste it, hit the enter key and then use this center option, and then click resize. After this I'm going to go to layer, layer to image size. And with this graphic this was unnecessary but like I said in some cases you need to use the canvas size to make sure the image is a square. Now with this graphic I'm just going to select the crop tool, click and drag and then hold down the shift key to get a square then I'm going to select the option fixed and then I can position this and resize it to make sure I fit the graphic inside of the square you can also use the arrow keys to move it just a little bit and once you're done you can just hit the enter key to crop the image now next thing we need to do is to resize it, so grab the scale tool, click, make sure this chain is locked, then I'm going to type 128, click enter, then click scale, then I'll go to image, fit canvas to layers, and I'm going to zoom in. Next I'll use this option to create a duplicate of the layer, again with the scale tool, and here I'm going to type slash 2, enter key, then scale. And again I'll use this option, click here with the scale tool, slash 2, enter key, scale, and I'll repeat this one more time. Now next I'm not sure if the larger one needs to be on top or this makes any difference at all. But I'm going to use this option to put this bottom layer on the top, then this one and this one over here and next we can go to file export and type here the name of our icon and then the ICO extension and then click export and here in this dialog make sure that you have this last option selected for all of these and then just click export and then you have a windows icon that you can assign to for example folders shortcuts so that's it for this video and I hope that it was useful, if it was subscribe, like it, leave a comment, visit my channel and that's it for now, bye.